from just one single prompt and just 85 cents, Kodu was capable of generating this beautiful fitness dashboard autonomously. I didn't even need to intervene to tell it what it needs to do. It was capable of taking in all of my instructions. You have the ability to set your daily goals over here. So if I want to walk only 10,000 steps today, you can set this goal and then you can have it so that you can then add your steps so that you can track your daily progress. So say if I walked around 1500 today, you can add those steps and you can see that I have been 100% met my daily goal. Looks like I found a new client alternative that is also a VS Code extension and capable of being your AI powered software developer. Allow me to introduce Kodu. Kodu is an open source autonomous coding agent that lives in your IDE. It's a VS Code extension that can help you build your dream project step by step by leveraging the latest technologies in automated coding agents. You may wonder, what is the difference between something like Kodu versus something like Klein, which has been developed by Saud, versus Ader, which is a pair programmer developed by Paul? Well, first things first, the original developer of Klein was actually a part of this project before splitting apart from it to create Klein. It's quite similar, but with a different scope. In general, Kodu is aiming more towards complete autonomous agents with web and voice integration. Ader focuses more on augmenting developer productivity by providing AI-driven assistance that is tightly scoped to complement your workflow. Unlike Kodu, it does not aim to act as a fully autonomous agent. It's just a pay AI pair programmer that is accessible through your terminal. Now in no way, shape or form am I saying that Kodu is better than Klein because Klein is 110% going to be outpacing Kodu in many areas. But the main reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to showcase another alternative to Klein that you can potentially utilize. It is quite similar in almost every aspect, but it's designed to be a fully autonomous coding agent that's capable of taking initiative in tasks. You have the ability to integrate web and voice interaction for unique development experiences, and it is also aiming to tackle a broader range of coding challenges. Here is a demo video of Kodu in action, where it's building Joy's coffee shop landing page in just under five minutes. It's basically showcasing the capabilities of Kodu as an extension, which you might see a lot of similarities with Klein, where you have inline suggestions, you have inline generation, you have the ability to quickly and seamlessly build various sorts of applications, whether that's with HTML, CSS, you can have speed and precision, you have the ability to simply click the create button to have generations prompted. And it's essentially very, very similar to Klein. You might think that it's a fork, but it's actually not. But before we get started into the video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Mammoth.ai. Mammoth is the ultimate gateway to the world's leading large language models where you can access Claude, GPT-4 Omni, Llama, Gemini, Mistral, and even the GPT-01 preview all at your fingertip. You can also access image models like Midjourney, Flux, as well as Stable Diffusion, all in one single platform. If you need stunning visuals, Mammoth gives you top tier image generators like Flux Pro, you have Midjourney, Dolly E, and even Stable Diffusion, where creativity is powered by AI, all in one platform. Plus, you can stay up to date with AI powered web searches through Open Perplex, where it delivers the latest information across the web and it provides you multiple different types of sources. In this case, I asked for the current status of the Tesla stock and it was able to provide me the closing price and analysis of it with fundamental analysis and technical indicators. On top of all this, you have so much more where you have one click prompting, you have project assistant, image and file upload, multi-devices, chat history, and even multilingual models all in one place. All this, the best LMs, image generators, live web search, and so much more, all for just $10 a month. You heard that right, just $10 a month. This is the capability of mammoth.ai and I truly recommend that you take a look at it with the link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. And this is basically 
the landing page that it was capable of creating and you can see that it is really really cool and it has animations it has a contact us page and you can see that this was something that kodu was capable of generating within a couple of seconds something that i also learned is that kodu is currently still in pre-beta meaning that they are still developing this project even further as an open source project obviously and they're focusing on a lot more features so i would definitely recommend that you keep an eye out on this as this is something that could be a really really cool project and it could really be beneficial for a lot of us but now what we're going to be doing is showcasing how you can get started with this what you'll need to do is install vs code this is the id that i'm going to be utilizing the code extension within so simply go ahead and install it for your operating system once you have installed vs code you can either go over to the marketplace link which i'll leave a link to in the description below as well as all the other links that i use in today's video you can go ahead to this link click on install and then open it up in vs code this will take you to the extension marketplace and then you can simply go ahead and click on install after it has finished installing go over to the extension and you can then start interacting with it within this left hand panel now first things first you need to sign into kodo and you're gonna receive ten dollars worth of free credits now this is something that i really didn't like with kodo you don't have the ability to paste in your own api key from any provider which is not giving you the flexibility to utilize any of the other models which could be one of the downsides now if they are to take in this consideration and allow you to utilize local models utilize other providers then this could be a viable option but at the current moment i definitely do not recommend that you go ahead and purchase any credits with kodu just utilize the free credits for now and you can utilize the cloud 3.5 sauna model the three uh the cloud 3 opus as well as the new 3.5 haiku and you can also use a browser-based model for this as well for web searches. So you can use 3.5 or the 3 Haiku. Now, you can also specify your technical level. You can change the experimental features where you have an automatic mode where it won't ask you any sort of questions as to how or what it should do in the next step of the generation. You can have it so that it can continuously generate. You have auto summarize the chat and you have one click deployment where you can deploy your projects with just a single click. So let's go ahead and have it design a fitness tracking web app with personalized workout plans, real-time progress tracking, and health insights. So I told it to include a couple of things, but let's go ahead and see what it's capable of doing with this request. So we can see right away, it's going ahead and creating a plan. I really like this user interface. It does look pretty nice. So let's see what it's capable of doing. It wants to go ahead and it wants to copy the shad cn uh packages so we're going to go ahead and have it get clone that package it's going to also go ahead and create a file for this you can see it's going ahead and creating uh and executing terminal commands and it's going to ask us at each step as to if it should continue with this now the difference with klein and this is that it actually takes in uh, a lot more of the tasks autonomously Whereas Klein goes on to thoroughly go over each step with you as it wants your approval on each step to go ahead and complete that task. And something cool to also note is that it also has an inbuilt memory tracking system where it tracks all the different contexts that it uses throughout the generation. And it looks like it has now finished creating the fitness tracker. So we're going to go ahead on our local host and take a look at this. This is the first iteration of what it was capable of creating. There's obviously a lot we can do to improve this, but we can see that it has done a decent job in creating a base dashboard. So let's go back and let's have it improve on this further. From just one single prompt and just 85 cents, Kodu was capable of generating this beautiful fitness dashboard autonomously. I didn't even need to intervene to tell it what it needs to do. It was capable of taking in all of my instructions. You have the ability to set your daily goals over here. So if I want to walk only 10,000 steps today, you can set this goal and then you can have it so that you can then add 
your steps so that you can track your daily progress so say if i walked around 1500 today you can add those steps and you can see that i have been 100 percent met my daily goal it will also showcase the calories burnt your heart rate and you can track your weekly progress as to how many steps you walk throughout the week you also have weekly stats being shown up here over here as well as having the ability to provide today's schedule now this was something that was capable of generating with kodu with just a single prompt it was capable of taking on the ability to execute terminal commands which you see over here it was capable of generating all the pages as well as all the components quite easily now that's essentially it for today's video on kodu this is definitely a great alternative to Klein. i'm not going to be telling you which one's better i already showcased the differences at the start but this is a great alternative to Klein, and i definitely recommend that you try it out with all the links that i use in today's video in the description now i'll leave my patreon page as well in the description so that you can access subscriptions to ai tools on a monthly basis for free as well as joining our private discord i also recommend that you follow us on twitter because this is a great way for you to stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of ai we always focus on posting free ai news so definitely give this a follow and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of value that you can definitely benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas